Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. This is part two of how to make Bella inspired gauntlets. Part one was about how to make the wristbands. If you missed it, check it out from the link on the screen. In this video, you will see how to make the armbands, how to connect them to the wristbands, and some decoration tips. So let's get started. To make these armbands, you need fabric of your choice, elastic. I'm using 5mm wide elastic here, but any size should work. Matching color thread, craft and button thread, bees, and your sewing tools, including a beading needle. To start, measure the circumference of the middle of your upper arm and cut two rectangles. The rectangles are 11 centimeters or four and a half inches in width and your upper arm measurement plus one centimeter or half an inch in length. Fold the rectangle right sides together and sew the long side with a five millimeter or a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Then turn it inside out. Repeat it for the other one. Then bring the seam in the middle and flip it and fold over to match the short ends. Sew the short ends together with a five millimeter or a quarter of an inch seam allowance and repeat the same step for the other side. And the armband should look like this. Now hold the elastic on your upper arm and cut it where you feel it is tight enough. Then sew the ends of the elastic together. Now mark four equally distributed points on the elastic by folding it and folding it again. Mark the points with pins. Then do the same with the armband. Mark the four points inside of the armband. Then match up the four points of the elastic to the inside of the armband. After that, just hand stitch the four points and this inside elastic will hold up the armband really well. This is a neat trick I learned from shira.net. I will include the link to Shira's website in the description box. Okay, now take your strong thread. I'm using craft and button thread and the beading needle. I'm using a bead along beading needle with a big eye so I can use this thick strong thread. If you're curious where to get them, the information is in my blog. Double the thread and the length of the thread should be at least as long as the distance between the middle of your upper arm and your wrist plus five centimeters or two inches so you can create the dangling look. Start from the front side of your armband, which is opposite from the seam and fill up the string with bees. You can add different bees, make patterns, whatever you like. Make sure to try on the wristband and armband and see if you like the length and the look. If you think the beading is too much work, you can even substitute it with pretty ribbons or even make simple straps with sequins. I made two strings of bees and attached a piece of ribbon with small beaded fringe that I use for my costume. And I connected the strings to the back of the wristband because I like the way they look when I lift my arm. So be creative and have fun with it. I think these gauntlets look awesome and so pretty when your arms are moving graciously. You can choose not to add the strings between the wristbands and the armbands and just wear them individually as well. I decided to connect just one pair and leave the other wristband separate. This will be a cute and easy way to create matching accessory for your troops too. Hope you like this tutorial and if you make your own, please share on Sparkly Belly's Facebook page and don't forget to get the free pattern for the wristband at the link on the screen. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!